From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. For centuries, the tiny Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan has been cloaked in mysteries as dense as the clouds that swirl around its towering peaks. Today, in the lush valleys carved out of the mountains, live a people whose traditions remain uniquely intact in our globalized world. But high up in the mountains lurks a danger that could destroy this harmonious people and the lifestyles they've always enjoyed. People like 76-year-old Zongpon Uge. Like most of the Bhutanese population, he lives off the land for the last 53 years in this fertile valley of the Fochu River in northwestern Bhutan. My income is from agriculture only and no other source. Rice, wheat, cabbage and chilies. We feed ourselves and sell the surplus. Now all this is threatened. Beyond Zongpong Yuge's house up in the Himalayas, the glaciers are melting due to climate change and Bhutan is facing a potential calamity. As the glaciers melt, lakes are forming within the glaciers themselves. There are more than 2,600 glacial lakes in Bhutan, and with the increase in the meltwater, some are in imminent danger of bursting. If this happens, a wall of water would surge into the valley communities below, sweeping away everything and everyone in its course. I think uh, people will term it as the tsunami from the sky and... Uh, that Dao Chu Dukpa, an engineer at the Bhutanese Ministry of Geology and Mines, has spent years monitoring the Thothormi Glacier. And then if this whole glacier melts, which will in due course of time, that could create the worst case scenario a scenario Zongpong Uge fears. If the lake bursts, his house will be directly in its path. A smaller glacial lake outburst flood has already happened in this valley. In 1994, 28 people lost their lives when an adjoining lake burst and many more lost their homes and livelihoods. This time, the wall of water could be three times higher. So in August 2009, the Bhutanese government, supported by international organizations, launched an ambitious project to reduce the flood risk and protect the communities below. Claire van der Veren is chief of the United Nations Development Program in Bhutan. One project has been developed which aims to reduce the amount of water in one of the largest glacial lakes in Bhutan, the Totormi Lake. The flagship project is staffed by local men and women. Working almost 5,000 meters up, conditions are severe. Up to their knees in icy water many working with nothing but their bare hands. The idea is that in the next uh, three years, they will be able to decrease the level of the lake by five meters. They carve out a drainage channel to gradually release the water. At the end of the first three months, water levels have already been reduced by about a half meter. Their labors seem to be working. Meanwhile, Zongpong Uge, although appreciative of the efforts to preserve his future, believes that some additional spiritual help to protect him and his family won't go amiss. He and his wife go to the nearby town of Punaka for an annual blessing ceremony by the head lama. As the old Bhutanese saying goes, your real enemy is fire or water. Nobody can defeat them. It is our fate and we have to live with it.
This report was produced by Jill Fickling for the United Nations.